Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I have a quick video on how to create a milling tool. Here's our part we designed. And all we want to do is create an end mill to where we can just machine around the profile of this part. Really simple. So I just start by picking my tool path, selecting my geometry, and in the parameters I go to tool. You can hit select library tool, but what we're going to do is right click and click create tool. Flat end mill, that's exactly what we want. Click next. And here, this is where your end mill takes shape. And we will just adjust our parameters exactly the way our tool looks. Inch and a quarter length of cut overall, three inches. That looks good. So next, we are going to adjust our speeds and feeds. So we go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. As you can see at the top there, we can pretend like we're milling titanium. So our tool diameter is half inch. Surface footage, we'll go right in the middle, 150. Our chip load is going to be 2,000, and we're going to have seven teeth on this end mill. So, oh, it's a seven fluter. So we'll type in 11, 15, and 60, 16 inches a minute. Once this information is typed in for this tool, Every time we go to mill with it again, it will already be there. So there's no uh, reason to recalculate speeds and feeds over and over again. So there we are. I'll click the check. And we'll just back plot it to see what the tool looks like. So that looks about right, half inch tool, inch and a quarter length of cut, got speeds and feeds dialed in. We can go into parameters and tell it to go deeper so we have a better idea of what it will actually look like in real life, so let's just select the bottom, regenerate it. Back plot again. So, no reason to make things complicated. Creating a tool master cam is pretty easy. And uh, if you do a simple back plot right after, you can see everything. Again, you go to tool and right click and click create tool. And here, you have all types of tools to select from. You can click on custom tool also. And as you scroll down, there's there's everything you can think of. I hope you guys like this video. Be on the lookout for more uh, videos on how to create tools. And uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.